Tell us about the rank hypocrisy of Chris Bowen, who's telling everybody else to cut their emissions, but just getting about on a double VIP jet joint himself. Oh, well, Chris, this has been a government that has made irresponsible decisions. You've already pointed out it's driven up the cost of electricity, of fuel, of transport, of food, and yet... This is the government that is then making these kind of decisions about taking two jets. It's concerning Australians because they are now saying uh, that they're, con they're worried that this is a government that is reckless with their taxpayers' dollars, but that they are so out of touch that this is the sort of decision they would make when most Australians are more worried about how they're going to put food on the table. Yeah, look, we all know that it costs a bomb to shunt ministers around the country all the time. And, uh, of course, coalition governments have done, done that, and that's what the VIP jets are there for. But they're there. Normally, it's very strict the way you use them. I used to work for a foreign minister. I've been in those VIP jets many, many times. But it's always uh, something you consider very carefully, uh, whether you need it, whether there are other ways around it. And you just would have thought Labor, especially when they're so focused on emissions, and, and this event was supposedly a climate renewable event, they're just, just so out of touch. They think they can just turn up in a couple of jets. Well, apparently government emissions don't matter. And this is a terrible uh, message to send to businesses, whether it be uh, manufacturing, mining, agriculture, when they're trying so desperately to avoid the additional taxes from government. You know, this is this is crazy that they are... Uh, government emissions are OK, but emissions that create jobs and provide prosperity to this country aren't. It's, it's a double-edged sword for this government and people are really starting to wake up to how disconnected uh, Albanese and his Cabinet are to reality. Well, there's a cost of living crisis, so they'd want to be aware of that. They don't want to waste too much money because the rest of us are doing it tough. But also, they're going to tell everybody else to reduce their emissions and try to force them into electric cars and whatnot. They want to be seen to try and be a little bit uh, efficient on emissions themselves. Will you consider... Will you pursue this and, and, and try and get some more answers on this? Because apart from the two jets, no doubt they would have sent cars up there as well to drive them around. That's probably electric cars at great cost and uh, great slow speeds. Uh, it is just madness. And what we should be focusing on is keeping Australian jobs, Australian manufacturing, Australian mining, Australian agriculture right here because this government is sending those jobs offshore. That's bad for all Australians.